Okay, so, hey guys. Um, today I just have the feeling to talk about, um, yeah, it has to do with your hearing rod. The title describes that. But, um, how do, it's like, um, how do I get my hermit crab out of my shell? Out of his shell. And I don't know why you would want him out of his shell other than, like, maybe because you don't like it. But that's not a good reason to get your hermit crab out of your shell. When someone, if someone would walk up to me and say, hey, I just pulled my hermit crab out of his shell. Now he looks all sweet and er like sick and everything in this new shell. Um, I don't know what I would say. I'd be in disbelief. That's how bad it is for the hermit crab. Like, these put the painted shells, I recommend you never buying a hermit crab in a painted shell. Unless you're, like, um, possibly at a beach where there are hermit crabs. Because a lot of people, what they do is, like, in China. Sorry, I'm looking down staring at something but anyways what they do in china is um they get you know they sell hermit crabs and whatnot it's probably not just china and they get these pretty painted shells and they take the hermit crabs that they caught which are out of the ocean that have mm, normal shells like they should have and they pull them out of their shells and your hermit crab is now, your hermit crab trusts you, believe it or not. If you make good friends with your hermit crab, they will trust you, they will not be shy of you. And what they do is they pull them out of their shells, and your hermit crab's trying to escape, and they get the shell they want to be in, and they beat them till they get in. They take their finger and they go, and they hit them till they get in. Which... That's weird. Whenever um that that word got spread, which I found out on YouTube about that, when that gets spread, well, your company kind of looks bad, and people aren't gonna buy paint shells. Um, yeah. So that's just one reason about um hermit crabs going out of the show. There is no specific way to not harm your hermit crab to pull it out of your shell. When you pull it out of its him out of the shell and you force it into another shell, one that's putting stress on them. And stress leads to legs falling off and death. I had a hermit crab. I did not force him or anything. He was just very shy. His legs fell off and he died. Um, two. Just putting them in another shell is good. Like, I'll show you. Okay. So, you see this shell right here? Okay. So, you can see it has okay, a nice size opening. And it has that nice spiral. And then you see this shell. And it has kind of, You see here. Let me get bigger in see this shell okay you know regular shell and it has a spiral but it's thinner and not as long it's not a it's a more fat spiral and it's not as long but can your hermit crabs all hermit crabs are different this one uh, w with a long tailed fit and this one one with a kind of short little stubby tail would fit in this one that's what I mean, the difference is. That's why your hermit crabs have to pick their shells. And, do you don't like your hermit crab shell that he's in? Just wait, they grow out of them. I mean, it's not like he's only going to be in one shell. Sometimes hermit crabs, they grow up to be ten years old. I know, pretty old. Um, so yeah, there's no way to get your hermit crab out of his shell without harming him. If you don't like his shell or something, just don't touch him. And there are no excuses for emergencies to get your hermit crab out of his shell. Unless, of course, you poisoned or someone put poison in his shell. But, um, 
I don't think there's going to be poison in the show. So, yeah, that's all for what I wanted to talk about today. All right, see you guys. Happy life, happy hermit crab life. All right, see you.